Yay, done. Woohoo. <laughs> Oh, he's just dead. Um, I win. Well, I call it a business, but really, I just send people flowers most of the time, or I help some with ikibana. What's ikibana? Oh, you're not familiar? Ikibana is a very important art in Izuma. In simple terms, you can consider ikibana the act of carefully cutting and processing flowers and other plants before arranging them in a suitable fashion.
Dance. Genshin Impact. So I just finished with uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, currently going to try and get it editing on my phone, but it's got to render some clips to even start that. So, pretty much, um, I don't want to... My idea here is the next game I plan to go through, uh, if PS Plus doesn't turn out any good, uh, is I think I will definitely go through Yakuza 5. Um, uh, but if PS Plus has something good in there, we'll be playing a PS Plus game probably. But for now, uh, I'm going to go through Genshin Impact because we have a new a we have a new event that uh, has to do with Albedo. And I have plenty of side quests I haven't done, and uh, update 2.4 looks like it's got some good characters, so I gotta get some primo gems. So what better time to s get back onto the Genshin grind than now? So let's do it. Also, I mean, I'm in a kind of already in a party, was kind of waiting for Zack. But his sister is on his PS4 playing Slime Rancher. Wish it wasn't happening. Also, I think the Inizuma branch is the only one I noticed that has a way for Catherine to walk in there. Uh, but yeah. Zack could end up randomly joining the party, and if he does, uh, I think we'll go off and play God Eater. Orange is supposed to be on around 2, which would be 3 my time, so I'd only be able to be talking with him for, an, I think, an hour or so. Anyway, side quest time. Let's see what we gotta do. I hope I don't have to change my party out, but I probably do to make things easier for me. But for now, I don't think I have the time for fighting. <clears throat> Traveler, you're just in time. Have you seen Julie? The, the, the short Mondstadt girl who was with me. No, I haven't. You, you haven't seen her either. Where on earth did that idiot go? What happened? 
Jury suddenly disappeared. Oh, well, maybe it's not accurate to say that she suddenly disappeared. We met an old man named Kami Mu uh, Munihisa when you last came with us to collect ingredients. I do you remember him? The samurai? Yes, he defeated the monster near the camp and gave us ingredients from around those parts. Ever since we got back, Julia has been talking about sending him food to show her appreciation. Zudong and I thought she was just saying it. However, she left a note in the camp today and actually went looking for him. An idiot. She doesn't know what she's doing. That Kami Musingi looks suspicious. Zudong and I split up. He went to find places where we met Kami Musina the previous time. I came to the Adventurers Guild to post the missing person commission. I can't believe she actually dared to run off with how things are in Izuma right now. We must find her, and quickly. I'll go with you. That would be great. Zudong and I have arranged on a rendezvous point, so we'll meet him there first. Also, I th I th I'm pretty sure I've said it before, the reason I haven't done side quests in Inizuma, like, at least a lot recently, is because you need to do a bunch of commission chains to unlock side quests. Uh, but for right now, I don't care about the commission chains, I'm gonna do the side quests. I think I gave this guy an accent. Bonava and Traveler, what brings you here? <laughs> I'm here for the big feast. No, I came to help. Really? Thank you so much. Now, Joey seems to have gone deeper within. There are tons of monsters there. It's hard to deal with them, with just the two of us, but... We should be much better off with your help. Let's get going. Julie should be in the woods. Well, we gotta do some fighting. That's... That's Julie! Don't just stand there, Panetta. Go knock those monsters and knock them out. What do you want me to do? Hit them with books? You don't use the pot, dummy. Oh, whatever. These books should just be don't taken out. Don't get too close. Here's the Wait up. Come on, Trevor. Let's get in here, too. Higher, higher. Hands on fire. I'm, I'm getting very close to getting dialed into the friendship of the man. And I don't know who I'm going to put in the party next to get friendship of the man. Also, Toma is actually pretty good. Just okay, on my phone I just saw that the clips have been rendered. So now, after this episode, I'm going to uh, edit the final fan the final Final Fantasy video. Hey, if you break the wok, what will we cook with? Don't underestimate Weiwei's skills in making woks. This is a unique cast iron wok, specially designed for tossing. It won't break easily. Besides, there's just a few monsters. What kind of iron wok would it be if it couldn't knock them flat? You're expecting too much of it. Mm -hmm. Where can I buy a wok like yours? <laughs> Great question. I had a special, specific, uh, specially cast at Hanfeg's Ironmongers. It's said to have materials excavated from the chasm add to the iron. If you want to get all, uh, if you want to get one, go to Hanfeg's Ironmongers. But I heard that the chasm has been locked down for a long time. I doubt he would be able to make any now. Okay, Julie, let's get out of here and fast. Wait, we have to help uh, Uncle Musihina or Musi <laughs> Munhisa. He's fighting against Kirigari in the woods. Ki ki Kirigi in the woods. All alone. Kiragi? Not monsters? How did you get involved with them? I'll tell you later. Let's go help him. He's all alone. Alright, I got it. Java, could you come with us? Let's do this. Come on, let's go. 
I know these voices aren't ex they definitely are not exactly the same as they had them before. It's hard to remember them after not doing them for a while, but it's like I could go back to the other episodes, but perhaps. Yeah, I can't believe we lucky day! So many of us spawn suck, but this time maybe the end of the line. That's uh saving quick. Stop right there! Feel my brain! <laughs> That's a lot no sooner than I was expecting. Finally! To the fairy! We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna be the dead. Hold on. Black Lung! Yeah, Black Lung! <laughs> yeah, volume warning, people. This is gonna happen now. I'm recording, by the way. Oh, oh my god. That works. You good? Also, alright, I finished the veteran quest line, by the way, and uh, I can say one thing. What can you say? He, he, he did not die in honorable death, bro. He, he, he died like a side character. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like this game so much. I wanted to bury him, but I, he didn't even do that. He just let him chill there. I don't know why he did it. He, he literally said he buried him with a hat, dude. Then again, it's, I mean, maybe it's just like not an awesome character to do that, I guess. Like, it's not an Undertaker, huh? I mean, you can literally tell that he, he there's some probably cut content from that, I'm pretty sure. Because he just like upright and like did that. Like, I, I like the fact that if you, if you like bring his horse and all that, if you get his horse, I mean, doesn't his horse size away though if you do it as an Uh, say that again? What, what happens with the horses that, like, you put in stables as Arthur? Do these go away? Yeah, the, they'll not? just disappear after Arthur Okay, uh, so dies. Buell's is dead regardless then, is what you're trying to say? Yeah, he Buell's pretty much is. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back in the stables and use him. I'm gonna have to leave, uh, Mr., uh... Damn it. Wait, so if I, wait, if I, so if I put, uh... Okay. hours later... Thanksgiving dinner had... And... We can take you on. Hold on, what is the key? I went over at that. Okay, if I hit this, will it make that go away? Good. Anyway, let's I've talk change the party. Let's talk to the guy. Still waiting on Zack. Haven't gotten any answer from him. So I don't, I don't know what he's up to. Hmm. Sorry that you had to see me like this. Uh, Uncle uh, Munuhasi, are you okay? Just a few lost go-arounds. No big deal. Now, Julie, could you tell us the whole story, then? Tell me everything, please, or my books will wreck for nothing. Oh, the pages are all wrinkled now. It's simple. I just wanted to bring him some food. You only met him once. Why... Do you trust him so much? I'm sure he's a good man. He was sur he was starving, but he gave the food to us instead of keeping it for himself. Anyone who is willing to share food with others when they are hungry must be a good person. Your concept of good and evil is so straightforward and pure. You must have been some fairy tale world instead of to that. <laughs> I think she's right, though. I agree. Those who can uphold their honor and decency when they are hungry can't be all that bad. Such simple and straightforward logic. Anyway, Julie, do continue. 
So I made some chicken mushroom skewers and wanted to try my luck finding him where, when we first met. I did see him there as it turned out. I was just about to say hello when I noticed that he was confronting some uh, Kiriki. I wanted to get away, but I was spotted by them. I'll take it from here. Among those people are some of my old friends who served with me under the shog Shogunate. After Inizuma's sudden change, we all left the Shogunate, one after another, to make our own living. Are all the... Kiriki? Not all, but regardless, they were all cowards who raised their swords against the weak. Since then, they became the Kiriki as you see them, making a living by plundering. I don't want to live like that, so I've wandered the land looking for work. But no one would dare hire me as soon as they found out that I used to be a samurai who had left the shogunate. Since then, as you can see, I've had to scavenge for food in the wilderness. Recently, my former comrades seem to be short-handed, so they have come to me every day to persuade me to join them. I refused every time. Today, when Julia appeared, they thought that I must have joined some clan or another and was trying to get rid of them, so they attacked us. An unreasonable bunch. They never acted reasonably, but in their situation, there really isn't anything to reasoning to be done. So he went to deal with those guys, and I stayed here, where I was, waiting for him to return. Then suddenly a group of monsters appeared. You should have been able to deal with them, right? Usually I could, but I didn't eat anything when I left this morning, so I was too hungry. I didn't have any energy. I lost all the chicken mushroom skewers on me when I was spotted by the Kyurigi. Luckily I had Uncle Mooney he said to protect me. Well, guess you won't be skipping breakfast from now on. There are still many of those unreasonable Kyurigi in Inizuma. We're going to be here for a while, and it doesn't feel safe. We can deal with a few weak monsters, but there's no way we can handle a group of people who know martial arts. Uh, Uncle. You mentioned that you were looking for a job, right? How would you like to come with us? Yay, that would be great! But since he's a samurai who left the shog shogunate, wouldn't he get us into trouble in Inizuma? That's true. If I go with you, I might get you into trouble. <laughs> I don't think it matters. We're going to just... We're just going around looking for cooking ingredients. The best thing a person in this situation can do is stay far away from anything to do with the Shogunate or Samurai. If you work with someone as a guard or in security detail, you're more likely to attract suspicion. Plus, I don't think it would be right to let a good man like you starve. I doubt I can fix anything else as, sh as a chef, but I can at least make sure that you're well fed. Sir, you... <laughs> well, what do you think? Would you like to join us? We can't offer much pay, but there will be plenty of food. Hmm. In that case, I am at your service, sir. Woohoo! This is a good thing, right? Yeah, this is for the best. Alright, I'm sure everyone is starving after all that work. This isn't a great place to cook, but I'll find a way to whip something up. Trevor, have a rest. I'll take care of it. You just wait here. Okay, time to get started. Done. <laughs> Only Giri made a leftover rice. It's a bit rough, but it'll fill your stomach. Come on, let's eat. Java, thank you for coming with us. This recipe is for you. Uncle Munahisa just gave it to me, and I made you a copy. He says the recipe he got while he was still working for the Shogunate. It's quite unique. You can give it a try if you're interested. Alright then, enough talk. Let's eat. I can't believe those two... You still don't trust him, huh? You mean Kami Musi Munihisa? Of course not. We've only met him a few times, how could I trust him so quickly? But, while I don't trust Kami Munihisa, I do trust Zudong's judgement. You're from the Academia? Sort of. I was originally doing field research for the Academia when I was met Zudong in Weiwei. He was planning to travel around and study recipes. And the topic I was studying happened to be related to food. After we talked a few times, we decided to travel together. 
We first went to Mondstadt where we were surrounded by a bunch of monsters. And that's when Julie came, and she helped us chase them away. When she heard that we were traveling around looking for different cuisines, she joined us. She said she was planning to go adventuring, but I have the feeling that she just wanted to have some good food. Well, I'll be going to Sumeru next. I'm almost done with my research, so it's time for me to go back to the Academia. When we get to Sumeru, I'll make sure they get a taste of our local specialties. <laughs> this is actually quite tasty. I'll definitely go for another round. Oh, what did you want to bring him food? Why did you want to bring him food? Well, I just didn't want to see him go hungry. The last time I saw him, he seemed sad. I thought it was probably because he didn't get enough to eat. So I wanted to bring him some... Ugh. So I wanted to bring some food to him. He won't be so sad once he's full, I thought. What made you trust him? That's an adventurer's intuition. I'm very good at telling the good guys and the bad guys. Only good people give out food when they're hungry. Never knew she juggled that thing. <clears throat> ah, full to last. Mm. Why did you help him? Do you mean Uncle M uh, Munihisa? I did it out of my professional e ethics as a chef, of course. <laughs> Just kidding. But I really don't want to see a good man like him go hungry. In truth, I don't want to see anyone go hungry. Hunger is a terrible feeling. I have first-hand experience. People can do terrible things on the influence of hunger. I think if everyone in this world ate well, perhaps a lot of terrible things could be avoided. I can't do it alone, true, but as a chef, I can at least try to help the people around me eat well. <laughs> to put it simply, I just want everyone to have food and eat well. A rather meaningless ideal, I suppose. No, it's a noble ideal. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay, no more talking. Have some more and don't leave any on your plate. Wasting food is a terrible sin. What is the matter? Why did you agree to join Zudong? Like Zudong said, if I want to have enough to eat, working for him is my best option at the moment. Besides, Julie and Zudong are both of high moral character, and it will be an honor to travel with them. Minerva is a thoughtful person. It is understandable she would be wary of me. Besides, she is merely well suspicious of me as opposed to rejecting me outright. And that, that is enough for me. Have you really just been wandering around? Indeed. I would never lie, since I left the Shogunate. I've just been wandering around. I usually fill my stomach with raw fruits and, when I'm lucky, fresh game. Occasionally, I also help people fight off monsters or kiragi, which gets me at least some payment. <laughs> For someone like me who has no skills other than wielding a sword, job opportunities are a bit scarce. Nice not to mention my background of leaving the Shogunate. People always associate me with the kiragi, and that makes it even harder to find work. I have no home or family to go into in Inizuma. Since I had nowhere to go, I just wandered. Why did you leave the Shogunate? I just... couldn't agree with, the sh with what the Shogunate was doing in Inizuma. I'm just a martial artist. I don't know what's good for the country or not. I only knew that it went against what was in my heart. So I chose to leave. <laughs> Perhaps I was just too old-fashioned. Please, try not to laugh. Okay. Well, there's that done. The Gourmet Supremos is complete. Now, another side quest that we have in Inizuma was... There's mostly side quests in Inizuma City. I don't know if I want to do the book one just yet, though. Uh, I'm really not sure. I need to go get my tea since I'm going to be doing voicing stuff again. Final Fantasy VII gave me a break from doing any kind of voicing stuff. Oh yeah, maybe I'll do that thing with the kid. Do a bunch of commission chain uh, side quests. Uh, this isn't good. What's the matter? We gave two offerings to the shrine, right? However, the deity hasn't responded to me yet. I went to have a look and offerings weren't there anymore. 
But when we went there the first time, the deity granted a part of my wish after accepting my offerings. So I was thinking, someone or something must have stolen the offerings before the deity could accept them. That's a possibility. If that's the case, then I'm in trouble. I might not be able to give offerings again. If I'm too persistent with my wishes, even deities will grow impatient. Please help me. Please come with me to the shrine outside the city and take a look. Let's -a go. I'm not really sure how many side quests I have. I know I have... Oh god, I forgot. There's so much I have to do on the island that, you know, is out. That I have explored, but I need to, you know, touch up on the island. Hey, now. Are they treasure hoarders? Why are they here? Could they be oh, here? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Good thing I have myself muted in the PlayStation party. So if someone came in here, I his sister is there, that would be a problem for me to be voicing characters at that moment. <clears throat> You thieves! The deities are blinding me because you stole all my offerings! Offerings? Are you talking about the things that were placed beside the shrine? Please, we wouldn't want those things even if you gifted them to us. Also, if you're offering that kind of rubbish to a shrine, it'd be funny if the deity were blind to you at all. Wh what did you say? My offerings aren't rubbish? Forget it. We don't have time to play around with you. My offerings aren't rubbish. Can you tell us your wishes? Fine. Since things have turned out like this, I guess my wish won't be granted anyway. My two wishes are simple. My first wish is that I don't want to take exams anymore. If I don't want to take exams, then I won't be scolded. The other one is... I wish that Meanie at school will stop bullying me. Meanie? She's a person that's in my class. She She's totally unreasonable. She saw me many times while I was making a wish at the shrine. When she overheard me saying I don't want to take exams, she went to my teachers and asked for my results. From then on, she always told me that my time is better spent paying attention in class rather than praying to a shrine. She also said that she also said if I'm that naggy, even deities will get impatient. She even said that I'm feeling really pathetic. Well, it's not good to depend on a deity too much. But when the adults face hardship, they always make offerings at the shrine. In the end, they still have to solve their problems themselves. Mm, I don't get it. I thought everyone gave offerings to the shrines to ask for the gods' help. Let's go ask someone else. Hmm, okay. Either way, my wishes won't be granted now. Hello, what can I help you with? Uh, about the offerings at the shrine. Oh, the shrines? I've been there a few times as well. <laughs> I want the deity's blessing so that after I grow up, I can go to the outside world and see what it's like. However, at the end of the day, the offerings are only a form of prayer. I still need to work hard. My parents told me if I want to travel, I must earn enough money first. Yeah, as long as you have the deity's blessings, your dreams will come true. I can't say that for sure. After all, if I really did go to the outside world, I don't think any Zuma's deities would be able to protect me. My parents used to say that giving offerings to the deities is just getting some peace of mind. If you want to fulfill your wishes, then it still depends on how much hard work you put in. Wait, did I get a Discord text? <clears throat> I can't really explain things that well. If you want to know more, then have a talk with Naratsuki. She's quite knowledgeable in these things. Hmm. Uh, come on, let's go find Naratsuki. Who's speaking? Um, just because someone leaves the room does not mean you need to lose your mind. Oof, oof, oof. Oof, 
faster. Run. You know, I do wonder if we're gonna get more stamina increases in the future. Probably not at this rate. Shoda, why do you look so upset? Did someone bully you? Nanatsuki, you must know how everyone in the city gives offerings to the shrine to ask for blessings from the deities, right? As long as we put a heart into our offerings and make it so that the deities have a reason to reply, then any wish can be granted, right? Huh? Why are you mentioning this all of a sudden? Did something happen? It's like this. Shota, you went so eagerly to the shrine because of something like this? Yup, I wholeheartedly gave my offerings to the deity. However, those offerings kept me kept on getting stolen. I thought the deity would blame me for this and won't watch over me anymore. Silly child, don't worry. That deity won't get mad at you for something like this. R really? That's good. But in the same way, that deity probably won't help someone just because of some offerings. Eh? The reason people give offerings and ask for blessings isn't that they want their wish to be granted. Rather, those people give their offerings to build a firm base for their confidence. Confidence? As we've already told our wishes to the deity, we must try our best to make those wishes come true. With the deity watching over us, if we put in, our, put in the effort, we'll succeed for sure. With that kind of confidence, people are then willing to give it their all to fulfill their wishes. That's the reason why everyone gives offerings to the shrines. At the end of the day, it's people that move the world. If we pray to deities and take no action, even a deity wanted to help. Even if a deity wanted to help, it still won't know what to know what it should do. B but when I gave offerings to the shrine before, uh, that deity always directly helped at me. That time with the fire, that mister who wanted to become stronger, and that comic book of mine. They are on completely different wavelengths. You're right. It seems like that deity has a direct way of fulfilling wishes. B -b but but not only did the exams not disappear, but that bully is still there. She still nags me every day about doing my schoolwork. Wait a minute. That person who's bullying you. What's her name? And when did she appear? She she's called a. Um, what's her name again? I think she was in school at the same time as me. No, no, I, I think a bit earlier. Or was it later? Weird. Why can't I remember anything? The only thing I can remember is a girl telling me to study. Hmm. It seems like that deity is responding to your wishes again, and is currently helping you conquer your dislike for exams. You mean that girl? The one who bullies me all the time? The deity sent her to force me to study? No! I don't want to study! I don't want to take exams! Huh. She's here again. She's right over there. She's coming over from the other side of the street. Where? Can't you see her? She's coming over with a huge pile of exam papers. Oh, I don't want to take an exam. It seems like the deity is very dedicated. It doesn't feel like something a deity would do. However, under the deity's personal supervision, that child should be able to successfully pass his exams. After all, I guess even deities can't stand that child's constant nagging. Wait, why are there leaves on the road? They weren't here before. <laughs> well, that had an abrupt ending. Oh well, uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.